Corals stressing out to death? Yes, you read that right. Corals are stressing out due to climate change, and when they stress, they turn white, just like us when we're scared to death. But it's not a horror movie turning them white, rather, environmental conditions making them bleach. This event seems to be a lot more widespread, so reefs as, as far north as Lizard Island, we're getting reports of bleaching from there. Um, Magnetic Island off Townsville and as far south as the Keppel Islands where I was. Maya is raising awareness in an upcoming heartbreaking bleaching of the Great Barrier Reef. Bleaching causes corals to expel the colorful algae leaving in their tissues, turning them white. Corals can survive a bleaching event, but it can stunt growth and affect reproduction. Bleaching is caused by water getting too hot, too cold, by floods, yes floods, and pollution. All these events are projected to occur more often and with more severity on the reef due to climate change. I am in tears underwater every now and then when I see this stuff. Um, but I, I think it's really important to have hope. Um, and I'm just hoping that the water temperatures will, will come down enough to, for the, most of the corals to, to survive and recover. Um, because the alternative is if the corals die, then it's, you know, it takes a long time for reefs to recover. Maya's sadness echoes UNESCO's threat to remove the Great Barrier Reef from its World Heritage Site status, reclassifying it as in danger. Australia's climate targets have indeed been underwhelming in the last few years, as the government decided to reinforce its economy through hydrocarbons, rather than upholding the Paris Agreement. Betting on what's there is always easier than what could be. But the Great Barrier Reef shouldn't be seen as a dead end for the economy. A report by Deloitte Access Economics found that the Great Barrier Reef contributes 6.4 billion Australian dollars each year to the Australian economy and supports around 64,000 jobs. Most of those jobs are in tourism. But there are also important economic contributions from fishing, recreational and scientific activities. If the Great Barrier Reef loses its status as a World Heritage Site, it could also impact those jobs in the future. UNESCO will meet again later this year to decide whether it removes the site from its list. Before all corals permanently lose their colour, let's reverse the trend and voice your support for a clear protection plan of the reef by the Australian government.